Okay. We're learning in the Mishnah. I guess we learned the, the whole sugya actually that Rebbe Kiva was machadish. That based on the posik of uh, if we have an oven, an oven, and in the oven there's a sheretz, and in the sheretz there's a, a kika, even though it doesn't touch it, the sheretz doesn't touch it, but the oven. The, the sherets made the the tano addition, and the kikar that's in it became a shami, and it says kolisha b'toycha yitmo tamed depends how you read it, so that it could be metame to make a shlishi b'chul. So we spent the whole gemara yesterday about shlishi b'chulin, shlishi by is the shlishi b'chulin. And there's, but we know that there's a shlishi by Truma, and we know that there's a revi by Kaidish. Incidentally, there's a chamishi by Chatas. That's a, the highest, the highest level go. So we finished yesterday the subject, uh, the how how we know revi and why Rabbi Yerechem Bezakai said that there'll come a time that they'll want to say different than me. Okay. So now we're coming to the Gemara, uh, making a, a sachako hesis, that only Rebbe Kiva is the one that holds it as a shlishi by chulin. We don't hold that way, but it's not only Rebbe Kiva, but a whole list of different tanoim that they all don't hold it as a shlishi by chulin. So look in the Gemara now, um, about, let's see, about five, six lines from the top. Omer Abba, Bet Isi, Omerav. He said as follows. He said he said this in the name of, of Rav. Rav Meir, Rav Yosi, Rav Yeshua, Rav Eloza, Rav Eliezer, Kulus Viru. They all hold the Ein Sheni Oisu Shlishi B'Chulin. That there isn't such a thing as a Shlishi B'Chulin. So now the Gemara is going to bring different Mishnahs or to show each one of the, the opinion of each one of them. So the mayor, what is it, where do we see that, that the mayor holds that there's no shlish b'chulun? The snam, because we learn, kol atayim b'yas mayim, midivir safim, mitame es ha-kaydish, upaiso es ha-truma, umuta b'chulun, ubemaisa, divir ha mayor. v'chachamim, oisa. Let's explain what this is. There's a, <clears throat> there's a Gemara in, in Masech the Shabbos that talks about, that's called the, the Yudchas Dava. This was all in that day when the story with Rabbi Gamliel, the whole story, yes, yeah. that they were geyser certain tumors. That really, it's not Tommy, but they were geyser certain tumors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had a barrel with food over there, yeah. Counted yeah. that they have more Beishamah than Beisilah. Yeah. It's a grand opportunity to get yeah. Beisilah. So over there, the Marshal uh, Yadayim hands. Yadayim, they, they are Ascanius. Really, you don't know that your hand came in contact with any tumor. But if you your hands are Ascanius, you know, you're always touching things. The Marshal, Habar Oishabu Bimayim Shuvu. If someone came in Maim Shuvim, so because people were, the, the, those days, they didn't have a mikvah like we have today, uh, a beautiful place, I mean, that, uh, that beats uh, the, the fancy clubs even. So the, 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 the mikvah was in the ground and it was schmutzig of water and everything. And so many so people would afterwards want to clean off the dirt from them and they'd go like into a shower, let's say. And Bermela said, and then they started saying, Loi zumatadim, lo zumatadim. This, this is the, our tarika. So the, they were afraid that people wouldn't use the mikvah anymore. So I bought Oisha Rubim, I am Shuvim. They, guys, it should be a shiny. So, and there's other things also. So now he says, so it says of it as follows. Kalatom bias mayim midiver suffering. That means that it's a shiny. Is, so what, what did he do? Metame is a He could be metame kaidish. 
in other words, if he touches, he's a shiny, right? If he touches Truma, if he touches Kaidish, he'll make the Kaidish a Shlishi. Now, if the Kaidish is a Shlishi, so it can still transmit Truma. So that's uh, regarding a Truma, a Kaidish, Upaiso as a Truma. If he touches Truma, he makes it a Shlishi. A Shlishi can't do anything else to other Truma. That's the end of it. Umuta Bechulun Ubemaisa. And he's allowed to eat chulun, and he's allowed to eat ma'isa sheni. Divir ab meya, v'rachamim oisim, v'rachamim asa. So, but, but what do you see? What do you see from here? That according to ab meya, a sheni is muta bechulun. Why is he muta bechulun? If you hold that you can, a sheni can make a shlishi by chulun, then he shouldn't be muta bechulun. So we already have it clear that ab meya holds that uh, there's no chul, uh, uh, there's no uh, shlishi by chulun. Then the Gemara says, he mentioned also Rabbi Yaisi. Now, Rabbi Yaisi, we learned yesterday that how do we know that there's a V B'Kaidish? In, from the whole Kabbal Chaim and everything that he makes over here. Now, if, so it says Rabbi Yaisi, Hoda Moran. Rabbi Yaisi is what we just discussed yesterday on the previous Ahmed. And he says, why? Because the Im Isa, if you hold that there's a shlishi by chulin, I bezei leisi ruvi betruma vechamisha bekaidish, then he should have said that there's not a ruvi, but there's a chamisha bekaidish. There's a ruvi betruma. The bal that he only said that there's a ruvi bekaidish is a raya that by chulin there's only a shenis. You have shenis, shlishi, and ruvi. If you sure. <coughs> And where do we find every sure? He said, because this now we write the Mishnah. Rebeleza Aimer, Rebeleza says, Ha Eichel, Eichel, Rishain, if someone eats food, if, if, if a, a Shadad touch food, the food becomes a Rishan. Now, if somebody ate that food, what happens to the person that ate that food? So he says, he's a Rishan. Shiny. If he ate food that's a shiny, he becomes a shiny. If he ate food that is a shlishi, the Mashal say, but truma, they could be shlishi. So he's a shlishi. In other words, that's it. he holds that when the person eats it, what, like, there's the expression in English, you are what you eat. So the same thing over here, that, that's the, the, what they say by why the, the Taita Asad, certain behemoths, because you are what you eat. So if, if it's a, if it's like a, a vicious animal, it makes you vicious. So he holds by Tum also the same thing. If you eat a Rishan, you become a Rishan. If you eat a Shani, you become a Shani. If you eat a Shlish, you become a Shlish. Then it says, Rabbi Yeshua Aymer, Rabbi Yeshua says, Ha'aychel Eichel Rishan, Ba'aychel Shani, becomes a Shani. And Shlishi, if he ate a shlishi, he becomes a shani bekaidish. For Gabi Kaidish, he becomes a shani. The ain shani betruma. And there's no shani betruma. Now, the question is, how, what, how do we, what, when it says Eichel Shlishi, so what does it mean Eichel Shlishi? So I said means means truma, right? But the Gemara says no. It means we're not talking about truma. Bechul and shenasu altaras truma. In other words, there, there are people that say there are kaya, kahanim. A kohen has to keep a, a certain standard of, of tara. So he he's, he's not only does he keep that standard of gabi truma, which the which the tighter required. But he keeps also Gabi Chulun. Everything in my house is 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 is, uh, is, is like Truma. So Altaras a Truma in Altaras a Kaidish Lai. Alma we seek Sabi holds Ein Sheni Eisus Shlishi Bechulun. With some Chulun not, but and the Elaza. Where do we find the Elaza? The sign of the line. The Elaza. Aimer, Shloshton Shava. 
what are three things that are equal? Harisha and Shabakaidish, Vishabakulan, Vishabatruma. The the reason of all these, of each one of these, Metame Shnaim Upaisal Echod. They could be Metame Shnaim, that means they can go make a Rishi can make a Shani and a Shlishi and a Kapaisal. Okay. Bekaidish, Bekaidish. And also Metame Echod. Upaiso echad betruma. By truma it only goes to shlishi. So b'mele derishen could be matama, then they can make a shiny, and it could be paiso by truma. Upaiso echad bechulun. And the apostles one by chulun. What is the apostle one by chulun? That if the derishen touches a shiny, the shiny can't pass along to him anymore. So it becomes paiso. So, you see from here clear that he says that by she- that by Chulun there's only a Shani. And finally, Rebbe Eliezer. Where do we find Rebbe Eliezer? He says as follows. Let me, let me first give a little bit of introduction before we learn over here. There is a din, uh, Chala, when you bake a certain amount of dough, so there's a din that you have to take off Chala. We today, in, in Chutzlores, there's no Kayin, and we're all Tomei, so we just take off a piece, and we burn it, and that's the Chala. But in Halacha, there's a Shir the Chala. The Shir the Chala is 124th. If you're making a, a dough, and it had the size that is Mukhi Bechala, so 124th you have to take off, and that goes to the Kayin. That's al if the Chala was Tahar. What happens if the Chala became Tommy? So Chala, Tomei Chala, really, you can't eat it. You can only burn it. So the Kayin could use it like as firewood. But over there, being that the Chala is Tommy, so they say it doesn't make sense to make a same as a tur. So it's echod mimim ches. 148 is chala. What happens if you, that's if, if it was b'shoigig. What happens if it was b'mezid? For some reason you matamed the chala. So then they cancel you and they say you should give 124, the same as tur. Rebeleza comes along and says an interesting Chiddush. Rebeleza says that Rebeleza Oymer Chala Niteles Minatayra Al Hatameya. In other words, if you have two two pieces of dough, you bake two chalas. One chala became tummy, and one chala is tar. So he says, you know what? We're not going to let you get away over here. <laughs> we want you to take challah from the Torah dikkah for both. For both. For the, for the Tamar dikkah also. That, that's the Rebbe a Chiddush. Now, so, so how do you do it? You have to understand, you know what, when you bake matzah, before pastry, you bake matzah in the bakery, so they, they make what they call a, a meira, a dough. And the dough is... Um, Let's say it doesn't have the sheer chala. So, what they do is, when they, when, they, when they pack the matzah, they bring out a whole box of matzah from the the first oven, let's say, the second oven. Every oven they have another box of matzah. They put it in, it's all the matzah in the box, and they cover the box, and then they take off chala. It's called, it's, it's nitl min hamukov. In other words, the, 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 the Russian is, Hakli mitzav from lechala, the kli unites them all, and they all become like one dough, and they take off chala from from the whole box. Now, the question over here is: there's a problem. You have two chalas that were baked, okay? One chala is tamei, one chala is tor. If you're going to put them together, so the one that's 
Tame will be Matame, the one that's Tame. not Tame. So he'll end up with, with everything will become Tame. So how, how do you do it? And he says that you should take Chala from, uh, from the Tar, Chala Tame. So what do you do? So that's what we're going to learn now in the Mishnah. He says as follows. He says, the Stan, the Belezim, the Rebbe says, Chala Niteles Menatayra Ala Tameim. You have to take off Chala from the Torah Dika one to cover that one and the Tama Dika. And he says, okay. Kate said, how do you do it? So he says, Shtei Isis, if you had two doughs. And Achas the Haidav Achas Tameim, one was Torah and one was Tameim. So it says what you do is, Naito Kedei Chala Meisa Shrehuma Chalasa. You take off the amount of Chala from the Isa, from the Torah Dika Chala, take off the amount of Chala to cover both Chalas. And what if you took, if you took off the amount, because you, you, you separate the Chala, and that will be that. He says, Venaito, Venaison, and you put, Pochas Mekebeya Beemtsa. Now, let me explain another din. The din is, if a Sheretz touches anything, it is, regardless what the size is, it becomes Tomei. Okay? Tome, you're makabal b'mashol. However, to transmit Tome, for something to transmit Tome, it has to have a shear. The shear is kebeya. If it's the size of an egg, so then the Tome goes from one to the other. The question over here is, now, why do you put just let me another few words? Why do you put why do you put a little piece in the middle? You put the little piece in the middle in order to unite the two of them together. You have to have it should be all together, united. So that little piece that you put in the middle unites it. What 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 does that accomplish? That little piece. Is, is really tar. When you put it in, it was tar. But as soon as you put it in the middle and it touches the tamad de kachala, it becomes tamay. But it's not going to transmit to the tar de kachala because it's less than the shia. So that, that's, that's a shot. Noito, he, he says that you take it, Noito kede chala me'isa shahuma. Tulasa from the Torah Dikachala, Venoisen Pachas Mikabeitsa Beemsa between the two of them, Kedagito Min Hamukov. Chum, Eisven, the Chum say you're not allowed to do that. But I don't see the problem with Pitzvah and Hamukov anyway. Huh? If they're not touching each other, they are. They are touching. So don't put one together. No, not putting, not putting, you're not putting the two houses. Putting the same case, but they're not touching each other. No, but but they're, they're connected with that little, that little piece of chala that you put in the middle connects the two of them. That's true. But the question is, why do you need that? Why can't you just put in the case one on one side of the case, the other on one side, the, oh, and they don't the touch each other? Still, not. It, it, it may become tummy if you if you don't uh, put it. You want to separate it. You don't. You don't want to careful. Okay. Okay. So think of mother. Vitanya, and we learned. Zakmar Vitanya, we learned kibetzer. What do we mean? We learned kibetzer. Not that you put in less than a kibetzer. You could even put in a kibetzer. Okay. So now the question is, what is the machlekes over here between the blessed? So Savrua, the Rachamim thought, idi v'idi, be'isiri shayna. Both of them are talking. The Chacham and Rebbe Leza are both talking that the Tamedike is a is a rishon, and v'chulin hatvulin lechala like a chala dummy. You know the shalos is like the 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 um, the, the Torah Dike chala is has chala in it. You have to separate the chala, right? Now. So the Torah de Kachala really has a shakas of Truma already. Because part of it is going to be Truma. So the shaga is, if chulin hatvulin lechala, in other words, a baked chala, 
that you didn't take off challah from it yet, but it has a challah in it, is that has, does it already have a din of truma, and Bamel can take truma to a shlishi or not? So, so he says, so Sabrua, so the Chachamim thought that either be either be Easter Rishayna, they're both talking by uh, Easter that's a Rishayna, and the Chulin at Fulin Chala like a Chala dummy. The Mega, so it can only go, if it becomes Tomei, it can only go to Shani. And my love, this is what they're arguing on. The mass of Ein Shani, I say, Shlishi Bechulin. And therefore, he says, you could even put in a Kabeya. Even though a Kabeya could transfer Tumer, but it can't transfer over here because you're going, it, the, 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 the Beya became a Shani. And Mele can't transfer to the next one. Umasov and the other holes, Shani, Isis, Shlishi, Bechulin, like Rabbi Kiva. And by Mele, that's why he says, you shouldn't do it. So, so we see that he holds that a Shani, there's no Shlishi Bechulin. So the Gemara, it's not a final. So the Gemara, Amr, Amari, Berei, Derafkana. No, I can tell you different. It's not necessarily that this is the Machlech is over here, and you have a proof what Rabbi Lezah holds. He said, the Kuli Alma, everyone will agree that ain't Shani, Isis, Shlishi, Bechulun. That it can't, that, you know, what, what's the Shaga? V'hocha, Bechulun, Atfulun, Lechala, Kamiflugi. What din does the, 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 the Torah, the Kachala have, be, being that you have to take off Chala from it? Does it have a din of Truma or not? So, Mal Soba, Kachala, Domi. Therefore, if we hold it, it's like chala, it could become a shlishi even. Therefore, you shouldn't put in a piece that's the size of an egg because the egg will transfer to, and make it a shlishi. And one holds, no, it doesn't have a din of chala, it doesn't have a din of chala, so therefore you can even put, in, put a, a piece that's a, the size of an egg. The boy is saying, if you want, I will tell you, the kuli alma, kuli natful, chala, like a chala dummy. The ain't shani is a shlishi bechulin. Everyone will agree that there isn't a shlishi bechulin. The hocha over here, the mutter ligram, tumma lechulin, sheba edits your soul come if again. After all, that little piece that you put in the, in the middle is an innocent piece. It was chulin, it, it was tar. And you're making a tome. You're making a tome in order for to be able to give minamukha. Are you allowed to be matama for, for, for such a reason? Masava, one holds mutta ligam tuma lechala shaber chisol in order to be the kind of mitzvah of chal in a proper way. Or masava, also ligam tuma lechulun shaber chisol. Okay. This finishes the, the, the sugya of tuma and everything was finished with this. Now we're going back to the Mishnah. If you remember in the Mishnah, we had a, a question over there. When the Yidin said the Shida by the Yam, how did they say it? Okay, so look now at the Gemara. So the Gemara, by the Yam, daughter of Akiva, of Akiva Dasha. And there's different opinions how they did it. So the Gemara, no, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry. This, this is, that's the next piece of Gemara. Oh, oh, oh. Before that, we had, we had a piece of Gemara, a piece of the Gemara, that the Levium, you have to give them a city. 48 cities. And besides giving them a city, you have to give them also, in front of the city, a payamama. So the question was, what was the payamama for? One said that the payamama was because one, one, 1,000 is just uh, for fresh air. And then later, after that, you have another 1,000 for padesim. And one said that the one, um, one armor is for uh, one, 1,000 armor is for fresh air, and the rest is for Tchum Shabbos. We know, much like in the country, that there's a din of Tchum Shabbos, that if you're from one bungo colony to another bungo colony, if there's a long stretch of land in between, so if it's 2,000 amma, 2,000 amma is approximately two-thirds of a mile. A, a, a mile is 5,000-something feet, and 2,000 two amma is about... Uh, a little less than uh, about three and a half thousand feet, let's say, approximately. So it's about uh, two thirds of a mile. So, Zakdagmar, by my commitment, what are they arguing over here? 
So the Gemara, Masa, the Tchum and the Raisa. We, this Tchum that we're not allowed to go more than 2,000 Amma from one colony to the other colony, is that Midraisa, Midrabana. So if, if, you're going, if you're going by the Levium, that they gave them 2,000 Amma to know Tchum Shabbos, so maybe so you see that Tchum is the Raisa. If you say that they gave it just for planting, for not planting and, and planting, it has nothing to do with Tchum. But the Gemara, Okay. Now, incidentally, the tchum that we have, like what we talk about in the country, where we have a tchum that we don't go for one that's for the rabbonim, la lacha. But you'd base mill to walk such a long distance, you'd base mill, that is midraisa. That's a terachaga. Okay, now we go to, to the part, the other part of the Mishnah, sure. which talks about the Oz Yasha. So it says, Ton Rabbonin, Boy Bay Yom Dorish, Rebbe Kiva, and that day, this famous day when they opened up the Mishmedesh, Rebbe Kiva Dashin. What did he Dashin? That Meshaw, Sha'ol Yisrael Mina Yom, when the Eden came out of the Yom, Nosnu, Eneim, Loy Meshira. They realize that you have to say Shira. The Kate said Amru Shira. So how did they say Shira? So this Gemara is going to bring now three opinions. One is Kigodo Ham Makri Esahal. When 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 Amol they didn't have Sidurim in the shul. So there was usually like a Chazan or the leader that would lead the community. So there, there were things with Masha that everyone, that they davened every day, Ashrei, other things. That, that people knew it, but there's things that not everyone knew because they, Holly is only once a month. So how did, how did they do it? So, so it's fun. Sometimes there's a Godel who's leading the community. What's the shot that Godel's leading the community? If, if he, the person is a Godel, so, not only does he have to lead the community, but he also has to be yais, he also has to say kal. So, he says, kegodol hamak is ha-. just like by a godol, by halo, the same thing, that's how they conducted themselves with the shira. Behain einim akrav roshi prakam. And they, he said, if them, that they heard, and they would just say roshi prakam. Roshi prakam means the beginning of, of the payday. Now, let, let's go. The Gemara gives an example. Moshe Omar, Oshir Hashem. Moshe started the Pasuk Oshir Hashem. That's the first Pasuk of the Shira. Oz Yashem Moshe Nei Yisro, Yem Uleimah. Then goes Oshir Hashem. Start the first. So, they said the words Oshir Hashem. They heard Moshe say the Pasuk, and they said Oshir Hashem. Then go further. Moshe Omar, Ki Go'o, V'hein oimim, Oshiru Hashem. When Moshe finished that Pesach, they said, Oshiru Hashem. That's, now, and the same thing by Halal. By Halal, when they said Halal, so Moshe would start the first Pesach, Halal, Luka, Halal, Halal, Hashem. Everyone would say Halal. Every Pesach that Moshe said, they would say, after the Pesach, they would say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In fact, the Ramah said that, but that, that when they said Halal, of those times, I think it was at the 123 times the people answered Hallelujah. Simen and huh? Shalom. What? Simen. Yeah. Shnei 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 okay, good. Okay. Because everyone answered on, on every Pesach, they heard the Pesach and they answered Hallelujah. That was one way. Rabbi Eleza Benai Shalabi Yesha Glilaima, not Kegodo, like uh, the, when, when the Chazans are Godo. Like a cotton, hamakri as a halal. Like a cotton, let's say there's a cotton that was ekan, that a, a, a learned cotton that's leading the community. Now, he really doesn't have to be yaitz. He's reading, but the people are not yaitz with his reading. So, so what do they do? So, cut the market that well. Vehein einu macha, kol marshu They repeat. In other words, he said a Pasek, and the people said a Pasek. 
He says another pasuk. The people say the other pasuk. And he says that Moshe Amar Shiru Hashem. Moshe started Shiru Hashem. The pasuk. Veheinai Amar Shiru Hashem. Moshe Amar Ki Gol Gaa. Veheinai Amar Ki Gol Gaa. Then every, every pasuk they, they, they repeat it. That's a second opinion. Rabbi Chemya Oimem. Rabbi Chemya says. Kisayfa hapayres al shema the basic nesses. Kisayfa pers al shema basic nesses means uh, the the the, the where was the where, where did the the kids learn so to say? They didn't have a yeshiva in the shul. It's magizesson of magaladin. The malama did gizesson with the kinder, and he, he taught them. When a minion came in, so he would stop, and he would say Krishna with the people. So, so how would he do it? Shahu peseach tchila, vehein aimim achrav. In other words, he would start, and as soon as he would start, the people knew that this, like they waited for a minion or what. He would start, and as soon as he started, the people would take over, and the people would say the whole thing. The people knew it. Krishna, everybody knew, but you didn't start in order to keep together. I mean. So, now, so, so the same thing also. According to him, when Moshe started saying Ashir oh, Hashem, everybody said, not they followed Moshe. They together sat together with him. With him. Oh, in other words, there was a certain Ruach HaKadosh that dressed itself into the people that the they were able to say the whole thing together with Moshe. What is the basis of their Machlaikas? The Bakiva. So, but Rabbi Kiva saw Lamer, the Shaitan Puzzle, uh, 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 Ozio Shemeshna, he saw Syria Zeis, by Yermu Lamer. What does it mean by Yermu Lamer? They, they're all saying, so it, it, Lamer means to someone else. Everybody's there. Who, who are they saying it to? So he said, he saw Lamer goes on Milsa Kamaisa, on the first word. In other words, when you say, Kigo Ashira Hashem, the first word, say oh, that, that, those words you have to keep repeating. So on every pasuk that they said, they said, Ashira Lasha. But Rabbi Kiva, B'nai Shara B'yaisa Glili, Sova, Lamer, Akol, Milsa, Umilsa. Every pasuk, you have to repeat the whole pasuk. Moshe said the whole pasuk, and then they repeated the whole pasuk. But Rabbi Chemya, Sova, he says, I don't start dashing the word Lamer. Let's go back one more word. We'll go back to the word Vayemu Lamer. What does it mean by Yemu Lema? Kula Behedi Adodi Lema. That means to say the Pasuk Moshe Beresha. Moshe started, and once Moshe started, everybody flowed along together with him. Everyone knew. They didn't have to hear from Moshe. Everyone flowed together with him. Something more Tanur Abonam. Dara Shabiyasi Aglili. Mishor Shal Yusol Min Hayam. Nos Menayim Lemeshira. They decided that they realized you have to say Shira. The case of the Shira, how did they conduct themselves during the Shira? Oilo, Muto, Abirke, Aim. A little baby was laying on, on the mother's lap. Vitinik, Yene, Mishde, Imai. Even a younger one than that, a Tinik, was being nursed from his mother. Kivan Shiro, it's a Shrina. When they saw the Shrina, is Oilo Higbia Tzavorek. The Oilo picked up his head and the Tinnik Shama Dad Mi Piv. And the Tinnik stopped nursing and the Omru Zakeli Van Veil. Shinama, because the Satan Pasek said so the little children, small, these, these ba- mamish babies should be babies, all said, because Satan Mi Pi Oilo Vi Yankin. Oilo is at one age. And Yoinik is a young yet. Yasara to Ois. That the Gemara, Rameya, I'm Rameya says, Minayan, how do we know Shafil Ubm Shabamei Iman? Or Mashira, that if the mother was pregnant and she had a, a baby in her stomach, that baby also said Shira. So the Mosh, Shinamaka, Shaitan Posik, the Makhailis, Bokhu El Kim, Hashem, Mimkur Yisrael. So he says, he uses the word minkar for the word mokar, mimokar. The, 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 the woman's womb is called the mokar. 
So the one from that mocker, they 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 praise the Shem. Frakta Gemara, it's a parenthesis, very interesting thing. Frakta Gemara of Hole Chosi. How could they see the mother's body is, is blocking them? And for the Gemara, Omar of Tanchem, Keres Nasalem Kaspakaya Hameira Viro. The the, the 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 mother the, the woman of the mother became transparent and just like a a spark ayamira that's you know in the mime from that the mitzvah uh, how they touch it a leichtering progressing glass right a magnifying glass right? so Melissa, and they were able to see through it were able to see the shit so Rabbi Kupman asked me the question he remembers that there's a gemara in Megillah that the gemara says about uh, by Yeshua, the Gemara says, and for the Gemara, right? Why don't the Gemara say that tenets over here also? Yes, they couldn't see. It's even stronger over here. Huh? It's even stronger the Kasha over here than there. No. Why is it so? over here, before they're born, the Nishnama is not completely in the body yet. Is that cool? No, where is it? comes out. We stay back in the Shoma, stay back in the, the embryo. Huh? The, go, the group said Shira, not the embryo. So, there's, there's, a, there's a formed body. Yeah. So it, it's a good Kasha. Yes, yes, sometimes good Kasha. In the Shoma. The Teret says as follows The big Chiddush for the Gemara is that the Abish that wanted to be Megala himself. Not to the neshama, but to even to the ubu. That's the tarets. Thank you for the tarets. Okay, let's go right. Can we, can we, should we go right or stop? What? What time is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so I thought we'd, we'd finish. Okay. What time do we got? What time? What, what time? What no, time we got another five minutes. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's go right. We can finish. So the gemara boy by yaim daughter sheva kiva ben yeshua ben hokilus. We, we, the, the last part of the mission spoke about about uh, Eiv, and the question was: Was is Eiv an Elachid or not? Because the shape, because the shape, the pasuk that Eloi, uh, uh, what's the question of the pasuk? Um, yeah, what what is it? Uh, I dropped my rock, I dropped my So the question is, what does that mean? Hein Yitiguni Loya Even kills me, I, I will I will pray to him. So What's what's the shaila? That the Gemara the shaila is as follows. Uh, I'm sorry. Darish Rabbi Yeshua ben Hokus. Shrei Avad Eiv. Okay. But the Gemara. Now why why are you having in fact why are you having an argument over here about Eiv? Look in the pasuk how it's written. Is it written lay with an aleph or lay with a vav? If it's written lay with an aleph means I will not look forward to the Abishah. If it's written lay with a vav, it means to him I will look forward. So, what's the shy of it? Like the, sometimes Mar says, "Nasi seif for nechsa." Let's bring a seif and let's see it. Is that for the nechsa? Let's see. Hi loy, this loy, e belamid aleph. Is it lamid aleph ksev? So b'meil loyu it means no. And e belamid vav ksev loyu. So it means him. So what's the question? So the Gemara says, I don't understand your question. <coughs> Do we find other psukim where state echad loy with lamed aleph, but it doesn't mean no? Because, because, because he says, there's a posseg, v'chol tzorosom loy tzar. Now, the, the posseg could mean that it doesn't bother him, right? The ksiv belamed aleph, and sit with an aleph, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't bother the Abish that he didn't have a tzar. And we, we say that it means loy, that the Abish is in pain when the Yidna is in pain. It's hachinami, the loy, who? 
that over there, that that means no. That the Abishta sends a Malach to save them. If the Abishta didn't care that the Yidin have a Tzah, he wouldn't send a Malach to help them. It could be explained two ways. And it doesn't, you, you, even if it says with an Aleph, you could touch it with a Vav. So now that's why they're having a question over here if he was a Tzadik or not. That the Gemara Tanya, the mayor, Oimer, the mayor says, Nami Yerayel Kim be Eov. On Eov it says Yerayel Kim that he was Yerayel Kim. Venema Yerayel Kim by Avram. By Avram, Ma Yerayel Kim, her om by Avram, me Avo. Av Yerayel Kim, om be Eov, me Avo. So the Gemara by Avram, Gufim, you know, how do you know by Avram that it was the Ava, Shetan in the Pazim? The Ksiv, Zer Avram Oyavi. The Abish calls Avram, my beloved friend. So the Gemara, my Ika ben Oysem me Ava, Oysem me Yira. What is the difference between serving Hashem Ava a year? So the Ika, Hodesanya, Rav Shimon ben Oyazo Oymer, God Oysem me Ava, Yosem and Oysem me Yira. Why is it, what is it greater? Shezeh tolu le'erev dor, v'zeh tolu la'payim dor. In other words, one, the schus, not, not for the person, the, the schus will last a thousand of his generation, and one, the schus will last two thousand of his generation. How do we know that? Because, here it says, le'alafim, le'ayavai, Shaymai Mitzvahi So I two thousand. So So first, so first, first person is talking about Ayavai. So Ayavai is Apayim. It's two thousand. And Shaymai Mitzvahi is just Elavdar. Practic Mara Hassan Amik Siv Ayavav U Shaymai Mitzvahi Sabu Elavdar. We find by Ayavav. Also, just a thousand. So, why are you saying that? Why are you taking that? The Gemara, high with the stomach, the high with the stomach. In other words, if you look in the Psukim, the word where it says Agalofim or Apayim, the, the word Layavai is, is together with it. It says Apayim, Layavai. And where it says the Marshal Bayira, the state. By the other pasuk, we say, "L'shemer misraiso le'elav dor." So the ayavav l'shemer said, but the ayavav is not together with the word elav. So b'mele, so that's why we take that pasuk where the ayavav is together with the apayim two thousand. Zatik amar hani trei talmidei have been yosri kamei the rav. Rav had two talmidim. Chad amar one said. Akrim b'chalmoi, I had a cholam. I, I I read another. I, like, I was dreaming a pasuk in my cholam. What was the pasuk? Mora of tufcha, asher tzafante reecha. V'chad amar rei, and one said to another, Akrim b'chalmoi. In my dream, I read the pasuk. V'yismuchu kol chayse boch lo'elam yiraneinu v'yaltsu b'cho ayeve shmecha. So. One dreamt about Liyerecha, uh, and one dashed about Ayyavei yeah, Shemecha. That's, that's as he says, Rambo, who he said, Tavayu Rabbonin Tzadik Gemura Asin. You're both great Tzadikim. Ma me'ava o ma me'yer. The question is, Rabbi Kupman has a question over here. The question is, what's the eye from a dream? Yeah, the, yeah. the Gemara says that a dream is nothing. Yeah. Teretz is a zay. You dream at night what you thought about during the day. So B'mele, if he dreamt about this possible the simon that he, that, he, that he thought about it, the, oh, I, I, I've been talked to Hashem, and Avis Hashem, it's not Sadeh As I've been talked to Hashem, and Yir's Hashem, it's not Sadeh Gomer. How does you know about Rabbi Gamus? 